And thank you, uh, Craig, again for chairing the planning effort and for this very nice um, uh, review of uh, an extremely uh, packed uh, couple of days of discussion. Uh, now to provide a little drill down from uh, different perspectives, uh, we are, we're going to turn to a panel discussion. As I mentioned earlier, we have three wonderful participants from the workshop uh, who have agreed to join us and offer their uh, insights on the, uh, on the couple of days and the challenges ahead. Um, the uh, order of the, uh, of the speakers uh, it will be David Stevens, uh, Helen Burston, and Kevin Larson. Is that correct? Uh, and uh, let me introduce uh, uh, all of them at first, and then we'll turn the uh, floor over to each of them in turn. Uh, David Stevens uh, uh, is the director of um, the Equality Center at the National Association of Community Health Centers, and he's also a research professor uh, at the George Washington University School of Public Health. Uh, before he uh, came to his current uh, set of activities, uh, David was a uh, senior medical officer for quality improvement at ARC, uh, and uh, prior to that, uh, he was um, a, the uh, chief medical officer at HRSA. Uh, so he's had a full range of uh, experiences uh, both uh, at the federal level uh, and uh, with the important bridges that each of those activities has to frontline a uh, set of uh, work. Uh, his, uh, for example, uh, at ARC, uh, his uh, work was uh, in particular focused on national uh, initiatives around health disparities, uh, disparities uh, and um, the, the care management improvement project with state Medicaid agencies, which was a partnership with CDC uh, to prevent type 2 diabetes uh, and a number of other uh, chronic conditions. Uh, following David will be um, Helen Burston, uh, Helen who also has an ARC common link. Uh, she's currently at the National Quality Forum uh, where she's the Senior Vice President for Performance Measures. As you looked at these uh, charts that, uh, uh, I'm not sure what the name of the clouds uh, uh, that uh, Craig uh, showed. You saw NQF sort of in the middle of each of those clouds, uh, each of the three dimensions, uh, and that uh, was Helen uh, in the clouds there leading the NQF uh, uh, activities. Uh, she's responsible for the NQF consensus development process and the endorsement of performance measures, uh, preferred practices uh, and frameworks, and as I mentioned prior to joining NQF, uh, she was at ARC where she directed the Center for uh, Primary Care uh, Prevention and Clinical Partnerships, uh, and there uh, was uh, also uh, holding oversight responsibility for ARC's uh, activities uh, to develop um, uh, a research uh, portfolio at the intersection of health IT uh, and healthcare quality uh, that produced a uh, a really important body of research uh, uh, on uh, primary care and prevention. She's an internist by training, uh, also a Precepts uh, uh, Internal Medicine Residence uh, at GW uh, uh, University, and is one of my neighbors uh, uh, here in Washington, D.C. Thirdly, uh, she's gonna be followed by um, Kevin Larson, uh, and the comment about eight, uh, IT and the work that Helen did there is a nice bridge to introducing Kevin. Uh, Kevin is uh, Medical Director of Meaningful Use uh, in the Office of the National uh, Coordinator for HIT at uh, HHS. Uh, he uh, is responsible in that respect for uh, coordinating the clinical quality measures uh, for meaningful use certification and oversees the development of the population health tool. Uh, before he joined uh, ONC, he was the Chief Medical Informatics Officer and Associate Medical Director at Hennepin County Medical Center in Minneapolis, uh, uh, Minnesota, and his research uh, includes healthcare financing for people living in poverty, uh, computer systems to support clinical decision making, and health uh, literacy. So you see, you have uh, to present to you and discuss with you today 
uh, three really extraordinary resources. And David, may I invite you uh, to uh, join first? 